Hello, welcome to the Drexel University Health Sciences Library's Cochrane Library video tutorial. We're currently viewing the Health Sciences Library's website. The link to the Cochrane Library resource can be located in the lower left hand corner of this site. You'll see it listed underneath the quick links as Cochrane Library EBP. In this tutorial, we'll be examining the Cochrane database of systematic reviews. I'll click into the library now, and that will bring me to the main search screen. For this demonstration, we'll be examining this clinical question. Susie, the mother of a two-year-old child with asthma, is concerned about the upcoming cold and flu season. She's interested in having her child receive the influenza vaccine, but she's afraid that the vaccine could trigger her daughter's asthma. What does the current available evidence suggest? When we return to Cochrane, you don't want to type in a large amount of data here, but just be very specific. Keep your search terms precise. In this case, I'm going to type in the word asthma. And I'm also going to type in the word vaccine. Might be more beneficial to put in influenza vaccine, but I think this will do the trick. The reason why is because the Cochrane database of systematic reviews is a very small database at this point. There's approximately 7,000 systematic reviews within it. This will hopefully grow as time progresses, but at this stage, we don't have to be overly specific. In fact, I'm trying to get as many results as possible. So I'll hit go. This will do a search throughout the various databases within the Cochrane Library. But for this tutorial's purpose, we're going to see if we have results underneath the section marked Cochrane Reviews, also known as the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews. There are three results, and one of these items looks like it might be appropriate. We see that there is a review button underneath this result. That means a full review will be present. If you see a baby blue button with the word protocol, that means Cochrane is still developing the systematic review, and it's not going to be ready at this current time. However, we see the review button in this case, so we can click on this hypertext link. This brings us into an HTML version of the systematic review. To obtain the PDF version of this information, please click on the full link located towards the bottom right-hand portion of the screen. At this point, we're accessing the full PDF, and you can see that this information happens to span 52 pages. Don't be too alarmed. The typical amount of reading that you'd go through is very similar to a large journal article, probably about 10 pages of reading in many cases. Much of the information that will be attached here will be tables, appendices, and references. Let me show you a good way to approach this information. I typically scroll down to about the fourth or fifth page of the PDF. And here we can find a plain language summary. If this information looks like it's on target, I would suggest scrolling down and examining the results section. In the results section, we can see that the information is split up into many various results. We'll discuss them specifically, and you'll also find a nice discussion here. Following that, you'll see information based on clinical practice and implications for research. The author's conclusions 
will sum this up quite nicely. If you'd like to view the references cited, please take a look below the acknowledgments and here you'll find references to studies included in the review. Further down the screen, we'll see references to studies excluded from the review as well. I'll take a step back. I want to display the results screen. One thing to be aware of is that when you do a search in Cochrane, it will show you information retrieved from the highest level database available within the Cochrane Library collection. If there are no Cochrane reviews that are found, it will display the other reviews section. This is known as the DARE database, or the database of abstracts or reviews of effects. If it doesn't find information there, it will skip down to the clinical trials database, also known as the central register of controlled trials, commonly called central. An easy way to tell that you're in a particular database will be by examining these links across the top of the page, looking for the information directly below, but also only information from the database of systematic reviews will have PDF related links. Items found within other databases in the Cochrane Library collection will not have PDFs attached. Just to note, you won't find every topic that you're searching for within this resource. You typically want to try a few different combinations of words, try a few variants, but if you don't find information here, there's a chance that the systematic review hasn't been published as of yet. Remember, keep your searches simple, and that will help you greatly. Thank you for viewing this video tutorial.